last time on Dino Sapien. Oh, Eno, stop sniffing! It's me, I'm a human! They're monsters! Stop the dinosaurs! Now do you believe me? There it is! Mm. Hey, guys. Courtney? Oh, what is this, some kind of practical joke? I'm Dr. Alan Slayton, and this is the Dino Sapien Theory. It's your dad. Yeah. I, I really wanted to show you an Eno this. Eno! Come on, you're gonna miss it! Time, they became a new and intelligent life form, which I have named Dino Sapiens. I believe Dino Sapiens come to the surface during seismic activity when portals open in the Badlands. The location of these portals has long been known by a select group of Native American medicine men known as the Gatekeepers. It's just like we thought. These portals are like doorways from the dino world into our world. Maybe it's the way Eno can find his parents. And for me to find out what really happened to my dad. Now, I have devised a mathematical equation by which I believe that I can predict where the next portal will appear. If my hypothesis is correct, then tomorrow I will witness the greatest paleontological discovery known to humans. Right after my dad filmed this, he went to the Badlands. That was almost exactly a year ago. Then he just disappeared. You think your dad went into one of the portals? <laughs> Eno? Are you okay? <laughs> Kit, what's wrong with him? Man, I think he's sick. Everyone thinks dinosaurs are extinct, but what if they're wrong? on the West Trail. Mm hmm You kind of wandered off into the woods by the beaver dam. Dr. S, I am so sorry. I didn't know that there was poison ivy. Well, I'm sure you'll be more careful next time. I'll go and rope off those nasty plants so this won't happen again. Chris, you're in charge while I'm gone. Dr. Aitkins is in the admin building if you need him. And please, Stop the campus from scratching themselves. It will only make the rash worse. Don't worry, Dr. Slayton. I just checked on all the healthy campers in the activity center. All the rest are in their cabins. I don't know why she said that. I already told them not to scratch. Why didn't you tell them not to walk through poison ivy? All it means is little red bumps. Wait till they get pimples. Now that is serious. <sighs> These campers are miserable. They're gonna call home and their parents are gonna be upset, all because the only thing you ever think about is yourself. That is not true. I think about a lot of stuff. I just don't think about nature. It's not my thing. Then what is your thing? Listen, you guys, Eno is sick and I don't know what to do. Nelson, run alert. Something's going on with counselors. They're just talking. Let's follow them. Maybe they'll lead us to the dinosaurs. Danny. There are no dinosaurs. It's just a joke they played on us. What about the blood we found? And the giant tooth? That had to come from a dinosaur. Hurry up. We can still spot on them. No, Danny! I don't want to get contaminated. We're the only ones not infected with poison ivy. I don't want to itch. But we can't stop looking for the dinosaurs. I know they're out there. They have to be. Hey, guys! Anybody want ice cream? Cool! I'll go to food!
Klaren. the last time you saw Eno? When I had the dino costume on? Way to go, Corny. You gave Eno your cold. It is not my fault. I only saw him for a couple of seconds. How was I supposed to know a giant lizard could catch my cold? You guys, stop. It still doesn't explain why he's so sick if it's just an ordinary cold. Well, not to him it isn't. I bet Eno doesn't have any resistance to human germs. His body can't fight a virus like ours can. Something like this could kill him. Look, Lauren, I really want to help, but we've got to stay here with the campers. I know. Um, well, maybe you could do some research. Uh, find a cure for, you know, there's a whole bunch of dino bucks in there. Uh, yeah, me and Courtney are on it. We are? You'll need this. It's my journal. Be really, really careful. Everything I know about Eno and the diggers is in there. No problem. Why don't you guys just give him some cough syrup or something? It worked for me. What's wrong with your sister? I don't know. I'll go ask her. Come on, Danny. There's no counselors around. They're all tending to the other campers. Today, we rule. Don't bother me, Nelson. I'm doing serious research. Dinosaur sightings. left him by himself. We should check the woods. No, he's not in the woods. His tracks are going in the other direction. Well, then let's go. He could be anywhere. Wait a second. These stones weren't here before. Eno must have built them. Well, why would he do that? He is sick. Maybe he's trying to leave us a message. Look at these stones. They don't remind you of something? They look like some weird rock formation. Yeah, they're called hoodoos. You can only find them in the Badlands. I'll bet that's where he is. Badlands? Why would he go there? Let's find out. Ten bears. Kit, I don't trust him. We can't let him find Eno. He's friends with Dr. Akins. Hurry! He's in here. Sounds like you already found him. you do to him? Nothing. He came here to be healed. We need to get Eno some medicine. Your medicine won't help him. The medicine that he needs is out there, in the Badlands. 
There is a special plant that will help heal him, but it is rare. We have to find it. Without it, he will die. The plant you're looking for is called the sand dune wallflower. It's small, about four inches. It grows in the shade and the flowers are yellow. Take my medicine bag. There's a weapon in there that you can use against the Uncate, the ones you call the diggers. No offense, Uncle, but I don't see how some ancient weapon is going to stop the diggers. You should have more faith in the old ways. Be careful. Hey, Danny, want to get your face painted? Not now, Nelson. Can't you see I'm busy? What are you doing? Looking for people who've seen dinosaurs. Forget it, Danny. There are no dinosaurs. Yes, there are. It's gonna be okay, you know. You have to trust me. We're gonna find your mom and dad. Mom? It's good that you talk to him. It makes him feel safe to know you're here. I was wrong about you. I'm sorry. You were trying to protect Enum. It was the right thing to do. That's it. What are these drawings? They've been here as long as people can remember. This one is the story of the Uncate coming out of the earth. They look a lot like diggers. The Uncate is their ancestor. I've seen that bird before. In my dad's office and on your ring. That's the Thunderbird, a very strong spirit keeper. He's a protector of the sky. So the Thunderbird beats the Ankate? Yes, that is what the prophecy says will happen. The Thunderbird will destroy the Ankate so that the Earth may be in balance again. You helped my dad find the portals to the dinosaurs' underground world. You're what he called a gatekeeper, aren't you? Yes. But I am the last gatekeeper. There are no more after me. They found us. Yes! 
Not bad for an ancient weapon, is it? That shield was made by your great-great-grandfather to fight the Uncate. That's awesome. And Oheach. What's that mean? It's Sue. It means you faced your fears. I'm proud of you. Danny, come on. You're missing all the fun. Leave me alone. What's wrong with you? I can't find anyone in the entire world who has ever seen a real live dinosaur. Investigating Eno was the best. I had dreams about him. He seemed so real to me. Now I just feel stupid. You were right, Nelson. There are no dinosaurs. Yeah. It was cool when we believed in dinosaurs. Why'd they have to die out anyway? Oh, Nelson! Oh! I'm never gonna believe in dinosaurs again. The medicine is too strong for us to stay in the cave. Is Eno gonna be okay? Hard to tell. All we can do is wait. trembling. It's telling us another portal will open soon. The doorway to the dino world. Maybe we can get Eno back to his parents. Ten bears. My dad wrote an equation that tells where the next portal is going to open. Do you know how to solve it? I only know where to find the portals, not which ones will open. Only your father knew that. But there could be tons of portals. How are we ever going to find the right one? Cured him, Uncle. Thank you, Ten Bears. Come on, Eno. Let's take you back to the store where you'll be safe. Say. <laughs> See the Thunderbird. This is the proof we've been looking for. There really are dinosaurs. It's all true. We're gonna tell everyone, starting with the counselors. Nelson! Danielle! My, my. 
Quite a mess you two have made here. I suppose Dr. Slayton will have to punish you. What a pity. We'll clean it up, Dr. Ickins. You don't have to tell her about it. Yeah, we'll do, uh, extra research for you. Thank you, Nelson, but I think my research here is nearly done. Why don't you two start cleaning up, and perhaps I won't have to tell Dr. Slayton about this mess after all. Thanks, Thanks Dr. Ickins. Oh, and Danielle, I'll take that journal. You wouldn't want to get it dirty, would you? But we found it. It doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it belongs to either of us. But I promise I'll return it to the rightful owner, all in due time.